This will be a takedown video. It will probably end up in a time lapse of the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. This guy is pretty good, but as you can tell, it's it's pretty stiff right now. I mean, it's smooth in terms of Benchmade, but I like an even stiffer, uh, smoother action. So, we'll do a takedown. Pivot first. Keep all your parts in a clean area. I actually probably recommend taking off the pocket clip first if you have a deep carry like this. You also want to keep your pocket clip screws separate from your body screws. They're the same size, but I believe the body screws are deeper than the actual body screws. Next I'm going to take apart these three, followed by those two, and then those two. And then the knife should just fall apart pretty much. These screws are also want to keep separate. It's a little bit tricky, you have to pop the pivot out. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. And... The blade's out now. See, it's starting to get some wear. Tip's not screwed up, thank god. This is a metal... metal desk. So it tends to screw up some knife blades every once in a while. Oh, yeah, 
that's the other half. And this is the more annoying part. Take the springs out. And then carefully push this rod back into the hole. And you just kind of jimmy it through. Try not to bend these springs. They're fairly fragile. And from here they just separate, revealing the washers. Which should just come off. That. And then this is the stop pin. I don't know. Some models like the full size Griptilian, I know mine is um, kind of sort of crimped shut on one side, but I guess the mini grip just falls apart, just comes apart. So, yeah. Now we're going to get these, these washers all polished up so that they look clean and will be a lot smoother. This is what I have. It's all my sandpaper for. This is a 1200 grit, 2000. All sorts of that. I'm probably going to end up using the uh, 1200 grit and polishing compound. You just use Stanley. See the two different washers. Top one's polished. They're starting to get a higher polish versus the bottom one, which hasn't been touched yet at all. I'm going to polish it up. I don't really have a great method for this other than put some paste on, not too much. And make sure it's all stirred up first. So it's like this. Just drop your washer in there and polish it up. Kind of feel where it goes throughout the paper. You have to do this a couple times, so.
know, starting to 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 develop a certain shine. And for me, that's good enough. The the lubrication and just it overall having a higher shine and better polish make it a lot better. So we'll compare that to the untouched one. So the polished one's up top and the unpolished is on the bottom. So yeah. Get to polishing this one up. Pretty shiny. Okay. Next, the uh, liners are a little bit uh, dirty, so I'll clean those up and I'll put a little bit of a polish on. Not too, not too high, but just enough. This usually doesn't really help, but. Uh, sometimes it does. Just a 
a little bit, you know, enough to give it a shine. I'll do that with this one too. a little. I only need to do the one side, so that's why I'm doing it this way versus pinching over and doing it like that, like I did the pet for the washers. It's a little bit shinier versus the a little bit shinier versus the very raw cut side. Now next the next part is more of a pain, so I might not be talking as much when I do those. Bring this back over. So, first I'm going to put my stop pin back in. Very small. Don't want to lose that.